just expecting like at any point to, to be shot. Like shot. Oh my God. Amy Beckstead says it's a hopeless feeling not knowing for hours if you will survive a mass shooting. I think you're so numb and not just for the short term, but like for days and weeks after that, like you're just kind of in a fog. Still healing from what's considered the deadliest mass shooting in the USA, Beckstead understands not only the struggle to survive, but the struggle to live daily life after the chaos has died down. Once you go through something like that, it never goes away. It doesn't really matter where you're going. Like you just... For me, like it's just that's always in the back of your mind. Watching two mass shootings within 24 hours of each other brings an overwhelming sadness and heartbreak. Beckstead says she tries to learn the names of the victims, their family backgrounds, bonding with an uncommon group of survivors. You've shared this similar experience, and you know, so that unites you. More people are dead after a mass shooting at a busy It's El hard Paso, to watch Texas news coverage shopping. to even put into words what she is feeling and Beckstead says she sometimes still feels fear. I've been determined to not let it change how I live my life. Being Vegas strong and reaching to victims and survivors to become strong together. Beckstead says each survivor heals differently but hopes they know they are never alone. Our hearts fell for those people. You know that are going through what we've what we've been through. This was not an easy interview for Beckstead. She told me that she did this out of a hope to help other families who may be affected by this horrible mass shooting. Live in studio, Erin Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.